Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm actually gonna do a linebot tutorial. So this has been a really requested <laughs> tutorial like hmm, I have to do it, right? I have to do it. So first thing first, you might actually seen this uh, documentation offline based on its messaging API. It's actually well documented, but it's not really beginner friendly in the sense that you don't actually know how to code it, right? So I'm actually going to do it in Python. So you need to have the basics of Python. You need to have the basics of REST API and you need to have the basics of Flask. But actually, if you don't have it, you can follow along. It's really simple and it's really good. So yeah, first things first, actually, I'm actually going to create a providers, right? I'm, you're going to create a providers from line developers console. So yeah. You create it, give it a name. I actually already created it, so you can create a new channel, create a new channel and pick the messaging API. So I actually done that all the works. So here's my simple bot. It's an echo bot and it has uh, nothing in it, but this is gonna be our simple applications bot. So here's the credentials, I'm actually uh, just doing this for the tutorials, so it doesn't matter uh, that I show the, cre uh, the credentials. And yeah, so where do you get started from here, right? So you're actually gonna need a template, or maybe you can actually code it yourself, but I recommend uh, this template that I made. You can actually clone this, use this as template, and the code is really simple. I've actually provide a simple medium that you can read it's a four minute read so it's really good so yeah i'm gonna clone this repository and i'm actually gonna clone it so we're cloning the application right now and we got ourselves an application so we're gonna actually create a virtual environment first right because I don't want it to spread, but if you actually don't want to use it, it's fine. I actually, it's a really good practice to do so. So if you don't know what this command does, basically you can Google it. Uh, it's a package management, if I'm not wrong, or a visual environment, yeah, self-explanatory. But yeah, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. So yeah, we're back and actually I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code, you can actually use anything, Sublime Text, Atom, or any kind of uh, text editor you want. Uh, yeah. So this is our Python script. You can actually modify it to fit whatever you need. I'm gonna give you a brief explanation of it. So we're gonna use Flask as our web server application to uh, handle the LineBot API and web webhook handlers. So. Basically, you're gonna give it the credentials and here's actually, uh, you don't really need to pay attention to this because I already did it automatically. So every time a bot uh, receives a message, it will actually go to the line servers and the line servers will send an API or a callback, right? A callback to our application. So we can read that event so we actually capture that event uh, using a an event handler that we created here and right now it's just replying to any text we're given so if i say hello it will say hello and then we run it so first things first of course we need to actually install the dependencies right yeah by using this command using pip if you don't know what pip is, you can actually Google it. It's not that hard. It's actually a package management uh, for Python. Yeah, you can see that it requires Flask and LineBot SDK. So uh, while that's running, I'm actually gonna give you a little bit of a peek of what is a LineBot SDK. So LineBot SDK is the standard development kit created by Line. It actually uh, supports multiple languages from Java to Golang to Anything you can code really, JavaScript, if you want to use Express. So yeah, uh, here's the most important part for you, might be the examples of it. So there's a Flask Echo, uh, our Echo Bot, or a Kitchen Sink, or a simple Server Echo. So yeah, you can actually browse around 
it's really simple. This is actually uh, capturing the capabilities of line using rich passages. Uh, yeah, you can definitely check it out. Okay. So after that, we can actually go back to our code, right? We can run this, but actually we need our credentials first. So you might think that you, uh, you need an access token and um, channel secret. You can get it here. You can get the channel token and you can reissue if your ta uh, credentials has been compromised. So that's a neat and important thing to do. I'm just using this credential for tutorial, so that's fine. Yeah, so basically we got this and we can actually start our line bot. Oops. Yeah, let's start it. Yeah, and it's starting in port 500. So yeah, so I forgot one more important detail and that is how to actually deploy it. You can actually deploy it from Heroku or any kind of server you want. But the most important thing is that you actually go to the line developer console from your channel and actually input your own uh, webhook URL uh, followed by the slash callback. This way, the channel or the messaging API actually knows where to send the request to. So yeah, basically that's it. I recommend using Heroku though, yeah, if, uh, because there's already the proc file for it. You can actually deploy it however you want, using Docker, using Kubernetes, anything you want. So yeah, thank you for watching this short video. I hope this can actually be useful and peace.